Okay guys, welcome to our next segment in our Silver Cell little mini-series here. Um, in the last video you remember I was explaining to you how to build the cell and now we are actually going to put it to use. Now the very first thing we're going to need to use this Silver Cell naturally is some silver, but we're going to need some pure silver nitrate. Now what this is, you can see on there that I have pure silver nitrate written on there and if you notice unlike when we're doing a refine or a lot of our other refines this is absolutely clear. There's no color to this at all and I'm going to explain why. When we're doing a refine we actually get the blue colored silver nitrate because of copper or impurities in the silver which cause the silver nitrate to turn that color. This silver nitrate I made basically from I started with five silver rounds so I had five buffaloes that I actually put in a beaker and dissolved with my dilute nitric acid just like I would if I was doing a refine um, the reason this little piece is on here is because there's only four here. This is what actually went into solution, was about four and a third ounces. So these two little jars right here with this little rinse water jar actually contain four and a third ounces of pure silver. So this watery looking stuff is actually liquid silver. Now, you, the reason you do this is because inside your silver cell, when you start using this, this is called your electrolyte. This is what is going to actually charge your cell and have your, you know, make your crystals grow. Now, the reason I did this, you can do this. This is my refined powder, so this is probably up to 90 or, or point nine nine seven nine nine eight, anywhere from 99 to 991 all the way up to about 998 there may it may even some of them may even be pure I mean there may be 999 in here but I want to mark my bars or my castings 999 so the only way I can be absolutely positive of that if I'm not melting 999 if I'm getting it from refined silver is to put it in this silver cell now the reason this silver nitrate, like I said earlier, is absolutely clear is because there's no impurities in this. There's no copper in it. There's nothing else. It's just silver. That's why it's clear. If it had other impurities in it, such as a little bit of copper or, you know, a little bit of other base metals, you would see it because it would show up as color. So that's the first part we made our silver nitrate so basically I did exactly what I normally do when I'm refining this silver powder or making this silver powder is it's the same process so I'm not gonna you know go through that and show you that because the only difference is gonna be is this comes out clear and the other stuff is gonna come out you know blue looking like that so anyhow that's that part um, I briefly discussed making the anode basket which was this part where we're going to actually put our silver in here to be refined but first we're going to turn it into stuff like this I'm either going to make it into buttons or pour I might do some more buttons like this um, I may pour it into shot you know just take this and put it in the furnace and pour it off as shot which you've seen me do which will end up you know like that kind of stuff in fact I might do a mix of it I've heard some people say it's better to do shot some people say it's better to do solids or bars I mean so I may do both um, I had to make the anode which is this little guy which is actually just some silver poured around a rod like I said I was going to do what's going to happen is we're going to load this basket with whichever silver I choose to use be it little buttons or shot and then you put this in the basket to hold it down and we will actually connect our positive wire to this so this will be our anode and then our crystals will actually grow off of this carbon block this will be our cathode another thing when you're doing this the reason there's actually a little piece of silver left 
is because we totally used up our nitric acid. You don't want to put no urea or you don't want to put anything in here to, to neutralize the acid. You want to totally use up the acid. So you want to put enough silver in the vessel that you're going to be making your silver nitrate in so that all the nitric acid gets used up and there's actually a little bit of silver left over and that's what this was. So in here there is approximately this much silver and we had a little kind of one of these a partial one of these very thin sheet was actually left over when we made this so that told me that our nitric acid was used up our vessel or the jar that we're using is 800 milliliters so I have enough there's actually over four ounces of silver in this fluid so that is going to be more than enough what we'll do is we'll pour this into this jar then we will pour, make up the difference up to the 800 milliliters with distilled water, hook everything up, and we'll be good to go. So I have about five and a half ounces of silver here. I'm probably going to take another five and a half, maybe ten ounces out of here and melt it into buttons or shot and start our silver cell up. So anyhow, I will get back to you. Oh, one more thing. This is actually the rinse water that came out. It's distilled water that I used to rinse the beaker after we dissolved our silver into our nitric acid solution to make the silver nitrate. This will evaporate in here a little bit, so I just saved that because there is actually silver in here, pure silver, even in the rinse water, and I'll use that to refill this as I go, and then if it ends up that I have to keep putting more, I'll just put distilled water in there. Alrighty, that's the basics of how we're going to fire this thing up. I'm actually going to go get everything ready. If I have to make some more buttons or shot, I'm going to do that. And then we'll get back to you when we are actually ready to fire this thing up and start growing some 999 silver. Alrighty, guys, we'll be back at you in a bit. Okay, guys, I knew I said I wasn't going to do it, but uh, who can possibly resist melting metal down and pouring it and not making a video of it? So what we're going to do is we are going to this is the silver we're going to melt there's about four and three quarter ounces this is all stuff that I've refined uh, I actually took this you saw me well, I don't know you saw me show it in the video but I took it out of that big jar um, I'm going to start with right almost exactly 10 ounces of silver um, it's time for a new silver crucible this one is finished it has done its job so we are going to toss that and we're going to get us a new one out and we're going to get this stuff fired up and then all we're going to do is just pour it into this little cylinder mold a couple times um, no big deal but like I said who can resist pouring metal and not videoing it so we have a new crucible and the reason I put my gloves on even though we're not dealing with silver nitrate or anything to that effect is I do not like to handle my crucibles and get the oils from my hands on them that's not really a good idea so it's always a good idea to handle these with gloves on top of the fact you won't get graphite all over you so let's get this thing loaded up I've got old silver fired up I'm gonna go ahead and load this these are just some little pieces that were left over so we're gonna load that up and we're gonna go ahead and load this powder And we're going to put it in old silver and just pour us some little round guys for our silver cell. Actually, has a narrow catch on it. Not crazy about that, but hey. Okay. Go ahead and 
get this other block over here and we'll get back at you guys in a bit and all we're going to do here is just pour a couple of uh, maybe a couple three or four just little round discs so that I can put them in our silver cell I just want to start with 10 ounces I know I've got four and two-thirds ounces tied up in the liquid so in the silver nitrate so this way I just want to figure my numbers because I mean I can melt 999 rounds or bars or whatever you know what I mean to uh, make my pure silver items and my own stuff I can just continue to make you know the 99.9 bark on it you know to avoid having to do this but I want to go through the silver cell process with you show you how it's done uh, looks to me like our silver is ready to pour well, let me get my glove put this back on I get so excited to pour I always forget my glove even when I'm not pouring anything spectacular just pouring because pouring is fun okay so we're just gonna pour a little bit in here put that back Put our lid back on. Ouch, dummy. Grab this. Take our little piece of silver out. And go ahead and do another one. Same scenario. There's our nice little piece of silver. let that crucible heat up again for a second I mean you gotta love it right we're not doing anything special but I don't care pouring metals pouring metal it's fun there's our so that's our fourth and we will go ahead and do our final and then we'll be done with our silver for the silver cell I actually got a little bit stuck in there slide that into there that'll be fine I'm gonna set this back in here unplug old silver out all 
Alrighty, we are good to go. This is our extra little bits of silver that were left in the bottom. Set that there for now. And there our silver is. So we have gone ahead and done the rest of our silver for our silver cell. I'll throw these in the pickle pot just for a minute just to make sure they're good and clean and we're gonna get back to doing the silver sale okay we are back inside and I just wanted to show you that we have all our silver ready to go I am going to go ahead and do it I haven't ever done it with the solid pieces every time I've ever done a silver cell or done anything like that it was with shot so I have been doing a little research and some are saying that it's actually it works better to use more solid pieces so I don't I don't know I'm gonna, we're just gonna give it a try this time there is our anode now aside from the weight of our anode we have I think it was 10.009 or 10.007 troy ounces here that we are going to take from 0.99 fine maybe it's a little better than that but 0.99 fine and we're going to take it down to 0.999 fine at least and sometimes it even comes out even better than that but I want to try this method with these more solid pieces and, and see how it works out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I know everybody was wanting to see the silver cell in action, but this is actually the prepping video. Uh, I want to try and, you know, I, I know my videos are long, so I'm trying to keep them 15 or 20 minutes anyway. Um, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and load this thing up, go ahead and get it ready, and it'll probably be a time lapse watching some silver crystals grow because there's not really going to be much else to do in that video we've taken care of getting everything built we've got all our silver nitrate made we've got everything ready to go to do this project so i've did the see saw me pouring the silver out there so we are actually ready to go so we will start off the next video by charging the cell getting everything set up getting the silver in the basket and pushing that little button right there and turning everything on so we will see you guys in the next video and we'll be growing some silver crystals in that one so it's probably going to just be like I said all about growing the silver crystals and probably a long, little bit longer time lapse but there's going to be some interesting stuff going on in this jar so we'll get back at you then everybody have a good one and we'll see you in the next video